Hey guys, it's the official break. Another intro that sounds the same as the last one. Um, today we are going to do a little tutorial of how to build. Some subscribers actually recommended this in in my comments, and I thought I'd go more in depth about the building. Um, let me just throw this in here real quick, just because it's fun. All right, so when you what you want to do is you want to when you first start out when you're beginning you want to get as much blueprints. I think there's only like six, seven blueprints. I, I recommend getting them all because it's a lot different. If you come from Lumber Tycoon 2, it's the building is a little bit more advanced, but it's easy to get used to once you actually start getting into the swing of things and start building on your base, which I know I don't have a, a lot that I've built. I have this little square thing and uh, it's just I haven't had time. Usually if I jump on, I'll try to grind a little bit because I really want to get those new presents. And... I'm not doing too good. I only have 60,000. So if you want to donate, no, I'm just joking. All right. So here you want to click on this. If you want to go into build mode, you'll have this little house icon. And then this is when you go into build mode. Since the new update, I will tell you now that they actually added a, a delete um, delete mode. So if you hit X, per se, you put a lot. Like you want to destroy a bunch, you can just hit F, F, F. F and then um, if you want to hit you know confirm destroy P you can do that I don't want to do that because I think I can use these for some other stuff but I'm gonna hit B for now uh, that's just a cool way to they just added recently to de destroy like multiple walls at the same time but so per se if you want to build so I have some extra wood you know to bring over to kind of show you um, we can go to schematics and so I guess I only have four right now I don't, I don't know if that's all of them in the shop I haven't looked, I just grabbed what I was really going to use. And you can start with your base of like a square. And so you have these other indicators right here. This is just like normal, like how we used to build in Lumber Tycoon. Wherever you put your mouse, it's going to go. Um, this is different. This is actual if you want to get, uh, what's it called? X, Y, Z, like up, down, side to side. Uh, who knows the actual terms? If you do, you're a nerd. Okay, and then you have this, the little square area. Uh, oh, it's gonna, I'm gonna be in the way. Hold up, let me, let me move me. Hold on, there I am. This is a weird. Okay, so, so you can actually see right here. Um, this is the one where, is this where your mouse goes, where you can place this if you wanna be real technical. And this helps with a lot of stuff, like per se, if you wanted like some of it in the ground, you know, you know what I mean, when you're building something. Um, now I'm still in the way because I have it. I'm just going to be in the way. Okay, so per se, you want it like a little bit in the ground. You can actually get it halfway in the ground. You could do stuff like that. This, actually, if you want to tilt, like look at that. That is crazy. You could actually, you could actually have it at different angles. That is a crazy angle to have. Watch if I can place. Yeah, I can place that. Uh, stop. So, and then once you get that, um, you can stop there. Or if you want to expand on that unit block, which let me move myself back. Oh, I'll move myself like right here. Okay. If you want to expand on this, you still can. You just hit F on it while you're clicking it. So, what you could do is this, this end one can actually pull the dimensions of it longer which you got to keep in mind when you do this um, the amount of units a block it takes to fill uh, I'm thinking so let's actually test it out right now so per se this is this unit one unit block okay and then we'll hit stop modifying well if we're still in build mode so I wonder let's fill that so maybe start as a block, and let's see if we can actually figure this out right here. Hit F on that. Let's expand that. Per se, I wanted a big square place. Oh, no. So if you make any adjustments, you have to add more wood. So it doesn't say percentages, so maybe in the future they will add percentages of how much wood it's going to take. But let's actually see this get built. So like that. And 
per se and this doesn't have to be locked like this you can always use this for something else if you want to actually get that back you can go back to actually how you have it like if you want it as a straight wall you can actually get that rotated back which is going to be a little rough for me right now but you can okay and then that way okay let's yeah, you can, but I'm not gonna mess with that right now. Um, what else is there to know? So, per se, if you hit F on something, you don't always have to start out in this mode right here. If you just wanna hurry up, get stuff out of the way, usually I'll click this so I can, you know, and then I'll do that, and then I'll click this so I can get that out of the way. This helps me a lot when I'm building on big levels of stuff. I'll go, okay, oh, gotta click this. Put that over here and then accept like that so and then that's all i'm going to tell you for now if you want more in depth i think that was pretty in depth so far about um you can actually go i think more so if you hit f on this you can go do the studs i haven't really gone too in depth about this i've just been using this and the schematics on the left side which yeah, you're good. So that's really all the basics with your beginner about the building. Uh, hit the notification bell and subscribe if you want to be notified of more tips and tricks. If you have myths, let me know. Just put in the comments and I will make a video on it. Uh, thank you. If you liked the video, hit a like. I'm trying to go for like 10 likes. 10. <laughs> uh, see you guys in the next one. Click these videos if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace out. Bye.